So now it looks like everything has gone back to normal for you. The hashtags come less often. You haven't gone to the streets in a very long time. Wow. You're even tired of listening about topics oh, that wow. talk about you're racism. Tired already. But if you're tired about discussing imagine. about racism, imagine. imagine going through it every day. When you can't escape the PTSD can't of black men and black women going through the ghetto life each and every day. Their tormentors still roaming the streets and still doing the same heinous acts. I'm at the altar of freedom, looking for calm in the temple of riots. The organ plays a hymn and it is a familiar theme as we remember what they did to her and what they did to them. Black mother's tears still water the grass on the cemeteries all across America. We are surrounded by the star students of racism, overt and implicit. They have created a system of bigots and now we tricks but they deny the smell and say all is well but we can all see the maggots. There is a moral pestilence. Death, dirt, squalor, flies, and everything is going to shit. Yes. But the media knows how to polish the tar. They, they cover it up and sometimes paint over it with the stripes of red, white, and blue. Mm. So the white moms in the suburbs can ignore it and see the issues of the ghettos from afar. It has been harsh so far. Lynchings, Jim Crow, Emmett Till, Rodney King. Mass incarceration at every station. They put them away from their families. They can only see love from afar. Am I, Am I going too far? Not enough. In the face of evil, it's the truth that I prefer. It's the genocide I infer. Raise your fists if you conquer. Yes. We have freedom to conquer. Yes. It is warm and calm in the eye of the storm, but we are in chaos at the edge where the patrols swam. The, patrol the world is falling apart where I'm, from. where I'm from. Nightmares and visions of bullets splitting the domes where I'm from. Where I'm from. Grey matter paints the street canvas with traumas on the mind where I'm from. Where I'm from. How can there be peace and quiet when I hear cries of men slaughtered like lambs? Kings slaughtered like goats. And they put it in the news for all to see. Well, it just occurred to me. Out of the blue, the super predator all along was you. Black Lives Matter. What to Winnie Mandela. Nyanzi Afeni and Asata. Black Lives Matter. From Kampala, Africa to Atlanta, Sao Paulo to Gibraltar, Universal Pan African, Beba Tabaganda Bafetu Mukire Wamutu Babuza in Chania Luleta, Njogera Mazimabu Buli Nyukuta, Galia Wamuge Galu Menyama Yen, Tabatuga Vutuli no Kwegata. Yes. The world is dangerous and ominous. The onus is on us to change what's around us. The blue fungus among us. Tears fall like the nimbus every time a loved one is plucked from us. These times make me reflect on the crimes of the slave coast when they used to snatch people from the continent but now they snatch them from the streets. How much does a slave coast? Blue collars disregarding who rolls up their sleeves the most. Who built this and the pain that it cost? Centuries and you still haven't come to terms with what matters the most. Justice and fairness elude us. And there is a curse of barrenness on the land. America cannot give birth to freedom till she atones for the original sins. The first step is acceptance. Yes. 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 Two genocides. One happened in the past against the natives and the Tainos, and there is a genocide happening right now against black citizens. It all starts here. Yes, it is a state-sanctioned genocide paid for by your taxes. We all have a hand in this. Check the data. A thousand black people die every year from police violence. Ten thousand ways to die. Strangulations or batons to their heads. Their brains splatter. Bullets out of the barretta. In the era where domestic terror reigns, the decisions are made for capital gains. Trauma falls like precipitation as police boots. Step on the fingers of black societies as they try to pull themselves from the gutter again, again and, and again, again and again. But our hope does not scatter. Walk in the truth and you shall not falter. Light skinned as Beyonce or dark as Lupita. Unite! The altar of freedom, many lives have been sacrificed with Unite! impunity. Instead of justice, we get just ice in their hearts. That's why we say black lives matter. We need freedom like Flint needs water. Inhale. How are we supposed to exhale when you keep us in hell? And we spend our savings on bail to save a son from jail. The same society that torments him demands your taxes in the mail. They kill the female in her sleep, disenfranchise the male, break up families, often falsely accused. If you look closely, you can see the devil is hiding in the security detail. 
We are all inmates in the American stalemate of partisanship. What do we do with the times and the rights afforded to us by our citizenship? I'm doing mine. With raw will and penmanship, hoping I inspire you to join the revolution. Instead of losing sleep, staying up counting ship. A glorious African origin. Where kings spent time philosophizing and foraging. Monologues of pain when you got more melanin. The police like creeps banging in the hinges. They hang little boys in the courts. They hang them in the news. Hang jewelry. Your jewelries with implicit biases are clearly more than day lynchings for the kids from Africa that love jewelry. Jewel. Black lives in this country are discarded like tissue, but they would rather be angry at me for speaking the truth than addressing the issue. Addressing the issue. To every black soul gone from accidental shootings, we miss you. We miss you. Look at the pandits and the bubbleheads on Fox News. Mm. Switch and bait, been dehumanizing and demonizing my people for ages. You are the worst kind, the devil's agent, justifying the killing of God's children. Your silence and inaction too is cause for indignation. There is no question you are part of the problem if you're not part of the solution. Look in a way is a suggestion that their lives don't matter. As long as the thugs in blue maintain the inequality and you have charcuterie on your platter, oh, you think it's hmm. not good. There is a lack of the moral imagination that the king was talking about before they exed him. Students of the system told to disregard when they feel empathy for the victim. Decadence of a society turning a blind eye as long as the pain turns a profit. There are inmates on the American plantation today singing the slave hymn in the prisons. Lives discarded as paper towels. But who is doing this? These ain't Nazis on the pulpit or demons out of a dark pit. No. These are your neighbors who think it's okay to put babies in cages. Yes. Think it's okay to imprison people to meet the pressing quarter to make profits for prisons. Who think it's okay for the lynching of my people to continue. Self-love is learning self-defense, the Panthers told us. We need to take care of each other. We can't take this anymore. They can't kill all of us like animals. They did this to Geronimo, and they will kill plenty more if we don't say no more. They want us all gone and not exist anymore. So fuck your normal. Your normal was still painful for the fellas on the other side, who now come with a wreath for your peace. This society needs absolution. Why can't we find a solution to this evil? To something so clear for all to see. The police evolved from slave catchers, members of the KKK and still services the inequality machine. Behind the blue iron curtain, they avoid inspection. Pledge more to the pain affliction. If our democracy is healthy, this is an infection. Police has been at every ugly intersection of history and black pain, so what still makes it okay? I'll call a spade a spade. It is diabolical, illogical. More deaths on the new cycle. How can I not be cynical when, when history, history is cyclical? Dismantle the thugs in the blue gang. The thugs pushing old men to the concrete. Do we still have a democracy here or is it demo crazy? Tanks on the natives, violence on the citizens. How could you love the flag more than you love the veterans? Mm -hmm. Most black men have PTSD from the ghetto trauma. Grown men died calling for their mama. It makes me think coronavirus is a response from mother nature so we can stop and think write better history and not waste ink silence is our weakest link but when we click we shall push them to the brink to be honest the situation is looking bleak but we shall be soldiering on until true freedom inherits the earth like the meek you got me fucked up thinking i'm weak mm -hmm. the bias got you crazy thinking my people deserve this if we are walking through hell we are not stopping here we are going to where the trumpets are blaring through the bullets that are grazing Marching to Zion, my people are amazing. The vision is so clear. I have to save my people, not waiting for the Savior to appear. The spear, the spear is, is in the air. air. A spaceship in the sky for black people, I'm here to take them home. My ancestors mastered aerodynamics. They passed on the inheritance regalia so I could realize who I am in this moment right here. The black hole born to swallow up and destroy the old world so we can give birth to something new. So with a bang, I'll end this, and with a bang, I'll start something new. A fair world where the police doesn't kill and oppress my people. Today in the land of the brave, American freedom is an oxymoron. Because how can it be a free land when you keep stepping on our wings and killing our kings? How can it be a free land when we're still allowing profits on free labor? 
How can it be a free land when free speech is silenced as dissent and pretense of patriotism? A true patriot and champion of freedom would fight to demilitarize those that terrorize American communities. A brave American would vote to defend the rogue police that does not protect and serve, but oppresses and keeps inequality yes. in our society. A true American would fight to dismantle and demolish all forms of hatred. A brave American wouldn't be afraid of the truth. A free America is still a dream that my people are yet to see and realize. This is a beautiful land who we all love, but her beauty is harder and harder to see under the dirty blue veil. In every neighborhood, you hear the mother's wail when they shoot their children like quail. The predator here is clear for all to see. So what you gonna do about it? For those who say they are tired of hearing about race, imagine how tired many are of experiencing it. This is my rhapsody for freedom.